Hello everybody, it's DaffyDuck91 here from Not A Gamer Gaming, and it is day 11 of our PvP Marital Blitz series. Now, I know it has been a hot minute. Is this how, like, this is not, like, how do I, okay. Hold on. All right, there we go, that's better. Okay, so what was I saying? Anyway. I know it's been a hot minute since we have recorded a PvP, and I'm loving everyone who's been hanging out with us, bearing with us, and enjoying the episodes when they do come out. But yeah, we are on day 11. Day 10, Genosis and I pretty much just looted some of our own custom POIs. It was almost like a weird showcase, an unintentional showcase, I should say. Um, I did not get a chance to finish mine, though, because it was the Asylum. It is very large. I am actually going to do that today. But... The risk to doing that is the fact that Jen, the lovely Genosis, he knows I'm there. So there's a good chance he can show up and kill me. So we need to be prepared. First, I'm going to throw him off my scent by going to the trader, picking up my scope that he left for me out of guilt. And then we're going to head on over to the asylum after that. And then I have a, a little bit of a backup plan in the hopes that we can protect ourselves or at least warn ourselves before he shows up. Good morning, everybody. Uh, wow, it has been a bit since we've last done a PvP video. Daphne's, I'm sure, doing her introductions at the moment. Now, uh, first thing I want to discuss right now is that I'm crafting something new. Oh, there it is. Popped right in my hand. Baseball bat. I was mining overnight, got another point, uh, got my strength to 7, and my pummel peat to 4 out of 5, which lets me craft a level 5 baseball bat. So now we got an extra mod, we got the ergonomic grip, which is great for that, gets your extra stamina usage, and weighted head and metal spikes. So that, that's a beast, look at that thing. Awesome. Alright, I got social mine up a bunch of iron, so that's getting it loading up in there, so that's great. Alright, uh, turn, what we're going to do today, we have a quest to turn in, we can start by doing that right off the bat. And I still need to do more quests, get some more levels. And, um, oh god, I'm kind of paranoid now that Daphne has, a. Uh, yeah, she took me out not too long ago. So we have a couple horde bases on the go. There's that one over there, which could probably use some work, but it's only day 11. We will, we'll let it slide. I want to start off the morning by getting over to the trader and getting that. And I have one more declaration to make that I've spent some time reading over comments, uh, watching the videos, and getting the feel that the general consensus is that Daphne is at a disadvantage. I'm running around, I'm a hard level, I got a motorcycle, I'm kicking ass, and you know, she did snipe me that one time. But um, I'm, I'm not going to PvP with her with a gun. I'm going to go melee. So I know that put me as a huge disadvantage. Oh god, there it is. There she is. Um, hold up, hold up. Hold on. Gotta take some drugs. Taking some drugs. Oh, I saw her. Alright, so my strategy right now... Is taking a bunch of drugs and beating her to death with a baseball bat. That's my plan. Where'd you go? Ah! Oh my and god! How did he not die? I hit him like <laughs> seven million times. Ah, uh, see, see. Oh look at that! I'm gonna take a pain pill and a bit of cash. Sorry, honey. Spoils of war. I think his landmines out away from you. Where was I? <laughs> oh, I get out of here. Bye. <laughs> okay, well, um, <laughs> did she put a bedroll right there? Oh, she totally did. Yeah, I'm getting out of there because she was going to gun me down again. So the four fights did their trick. <laughs> She's shooting the zombies. The four fights did their trick and allowed me to survive. Um, I don't want to go kill her again because that would just be cheating. I'm going to do something else for a few minutes. I'm going to find a POI to do, get some loot. And then go check the trader to see if it's a hot spot. Did you let zombies out? Get back here. You son of a whore. Where are you? Ah. Oh, that is just like a sick... That is like a sick twisted thing. How did he kill me? How on earth did he kill me? I need to unleash all these hoe bags. Oh man, I had such a plan. I had my bedroll there. I had what else? I had I had ammo on my bar. Ugh. All right, guys. Okay, so yeah, he killed me, and he ran off like a scared little biznatch. I had to adjust more of my 
game settings. It's obviously been a while since I've played. I cannot believe he came here. I was supposed to throw him off. Oh, paint. My kids love me a paintbrush. I should be happy. Oh, I'm going to go in. I'm going to return my quest. I really need a motorcycle handlebar. So that's the only way I'm going to get a motorcycle. So if she has that, I will be I super tickled. Let me see. What do you have in your inventory? I'm going to do a quick look-see. A cigar. That's like important, right? I don't have any money on me. I don't even know why I'm dreaming about this. Oh, a chili dog would be nice in case I get hungry. Um, Bicycle handlebars. That's not going to do me no good. All right. Okay, so whatever. She doesn't have anything I want. I'm going to grab a quest from her just in case. Something relatively close by. Hurry back soon. I will hurry back, but not today. Today I have plans, Jen. Today I am going back to the asylum. And, oh, God, how did I not kill him? He meleeed me. He, like, didn't even shoot at me. He came up my face and hit me with a hammer. Uh, he must have some crazy armor on right now. That's the only way. Like, how many times did I shoot this guy? Uh, I should have used my rifle. This bad boy, which, ooh, by the way, let me modify right now. There we go. Which, by the way, I could have done. But it just takes so long to reload, and then, of course, I panic. I panic in a situation where I can't reload, like, right away. <sighs> okay, well, I lost my life. That's fine. Whatever. Whatever. We're going to the asylum. He better not steal my loot or else it's vengeance. And you know what happens when I do vengeance. All right, so I dodged a bullet by taking her landmines. I'm sure she's happy about that. <laughs> um, but now that I'm going melee, I feel a little less bad about kind of going ham and looting a few more things from her bag. Uh, we... Uh, we foregoing, uh, we are foregoing looting uh, the toolbar, so I'll, I'll give her that. So here's a good POI to do. I figured it would be cool to do this and uh, get some extra possibility of loot and bullets and all that. Like, I may not be using the um, guns on my wife, but the zombies are still fair play. We picked that lock first try. I was actually thinking about using a jailbreaker. Actually, I probably still will. But we got this stuff right here. So let's get some Lucky Looter goggles on. And I will have to start working on Lucky Looter itself sometime soon. Yeah. Uh, what do we got? Um, repair kit and some stuff. Uh, crappy machine gun. I'll scrap some stuff for money. Uh, some junk. And some bullets. Well, you know, that could have been a lot better. But also a lot worse. But what are you going to do? Let's take a look at this other stuff since I have the loot goggles on. Nothing too keenly of interest over here. A little skirt. I'm not gonna wear that. Um, meh. So far, not too impressed. I guess I'm kind of used to my uh, waste, uh, Wasteline Wanderer series, where my loot is an awful lot better. So I will have to start paying attention to Lucky Looter, which has been taking second fiddle to uh, other things like strength and mining and all that. So we'll have to pay some attention to it. All right, get these guys cleared out, and hopefully there's some water in there, because taking all those drugs makes me thirsty. All right, guys, here we are at the beautiful asylum that we... Uh, we're not even, like, one... We did one-third of the asylum. We basically did the top floor. This is a three-tier building, so there are three floors to do. Uh, we are going to ideally finish the rest of it today. Um, I need to set up some keep-me-safe scenarios. So right now I am going to build a bedroll put that down oh he took my landmines oh, the dirty dirty want to say a bad word i was going to use those landmines to protect me i was going to kind of put them everywhere oh that's not nice but i am smart to leave how smart i am to leave my ammo right here on my bar that way when i spawn in yeah baby i'm just gonna shoot the crap out of them just like a pro anyway i am gonna put a bedroll down I'm going to kind of hide it over here. I don't want Jen to, like, destroy it if he comes over here and sees, like, my bike and my chest. And then he's like, oh, I'm going to uh, grab her crap or destroy her bedroll, etc., etc. Anyway, here, let's go in. I did put a point last night into Lucky Looter. I realized I had tons of perception and then, like, literally nothing spent down here. So I do want to mm, penetrate her. I do want to spend some points. But, yeah, for now, let's go on in here. We came downstairs... Um, we looked at the little kid area, like where the kitties hang out, you know, they just, they hang out there to, uh, be observed. And then we came down the stairs, we killed a few zombies that spawned in, 
And here's our second child area that I wanted to show you guys because it's like super creepy. So we're gonna go in there and kill some zombies. I am, it's been a while since I've played, so killing zombies will be a bit of a challenge, but you know, I can do it. This is obviously where they would keep the younger, the younger kitties. Ooh, you, ooh food, love it. So yeah, so you have the little ones. We got some cribs, we got Mr. Fun. Oh, I just gave him a head. He just got headed. And yeah, I am going to be looting each room as I clear it. There's just really no other way to do this POI. It is a massive POI, so we have to do it just a little bit at a time. All right, here we go. Next up, kitchen. Now we had a few zombies spawn on us yesterday, so there might not actually be anything in this area. Uh, let me see. I'm not seeing anything. So you want to keep going down all these hallways because there's secret loot everywhere. But yeah, we're not, uh, I'm not seeing anything else. We do have more zombies to clear. So I'm going to go quickly clear out the zombies and then we can talk a little bit about what's on this section of the POI. <gasps> oh god, I hear something really gross and mean. It sounds like it's spitting. There wouldn't be anything spitting out there. My game stage is not high enough for spitting things. It's probably the uh, Hawaiian zombie. Yeah, I'm just making my way through this little wing here, killing the zombies as I go. We are definitely going to have to loot after the fact. Uh, I want to just do this. One side note, not a lot of people like the spear. I really enjoy the spear. I know you don't get to have it like on you all the time, so if I throw it kind of like this, like whoops, I do not have a weapon to kill her with. But all in all, the reach, like you get a good reach. Like I don't have to get super all in their face. I can hit them from like all the way back here, which is kind of nice. Would you hurry up and beat that door down, lady? And so yeah, there is a downside that if you want to kind of out you little, Robust man. Ow. Yeah, if you want to, like, throw your spear and power attack, which gives you a lot more hit points, uh, you do lose your spear. But, again, at the same time, it doesn't take much to get your spear back. So if I do this, like, he's pretty far away, and I just grabbed it back again. I'm going to do it again. Like, look how far away he is. I can grab it back. What I usually do is I just hit this, and then I go E as soon as humanly possible. Come here, you little. And grab it back. Ugh, I just talked through a zombie battle. I'm so proud of myself. Uh, so yeah, this is the first section. Oh my god, Jen is going to die. Look at all these books. Yeah. Shh. I want to be careful. I, like, I feel like he's going to come back here and try to kill me again because he, he's like into that. Anyway, this is the first section, so we've seen kind of basically, I'm going to go back to the beginning so we can loop, but we saw, this is a bathroom, obviously, see, a men's bathroom. Um, there's definitely some updates we can do because there are uh, bathroom signs now, which would be nice, that we can add in here. Women's bathroom, and you come through here, storage, you have a laundry room. Now, obviously, this would be all where staff goes. You wouldn't have your uh, patients, hence the, the doors. In here you have, it's kind of like where you would give out medicine. So you have your your patients in here and they come up here for their daily dose, etc, etc. Obviously they eat in here and that's the kitchen. So we've seen all that. I'm going to go quickly loot it and then we're going to move on to the next section. All right, we're here at the gun range. I'm just going to go straight in their faces because I want to get some more use out of this bat. That's still got a bit of a wife blood onto it, so thought I'd share. Nice. Yeah, that works out really well. I, I, I actually really kind of miss the baseball bat. I've been using a sledge for a while on the on the other series. This has got some good some good perks. Um, so that is pretty sweet. Uh, I actually like the mobility of it as well. You can get right in there, and most often than not, it does the trick. Uh, yeah, bam. Just like that, and way faster than the sledge, so I'm kind of a fan. All right, let's uh, get this cracked open, see what kind of goodies we get in here. Hidden stash. Uh, okay, some bullets and uh, a schematic I already have. Whatevs. All right, let's uh, clear off the rest of this roof of zombies and get into the primary cache of loot over there. Ow, you prick. Uh, yeah, one other thing I may want to get is um, getting the last point of, um, what do you call it, sexual Tyrannosaurus. Because when I'm power attacking all day, I want to get as much stamina back as I can. Because I think right now it only gives like 10 or 20 back. Uh, hold on. 
Um, psh, psh, yeah, 20 stamina. But a power attack takes... Well, actually, it's not that bad. As long as I don't miss, a power attack from a, a baseball bat isn't all that bad. But still, um, may want to min-max that a little bit. All right, so, ooh, rad remover. Um, yeah, that's going on the AK. Easy decision. Bada boom, bada bing. Yeah, so, I, again, I wanted to equalize by not using the gun on the wife. Uh, but, you know, I still got to take the advantages I can, and that's using some uh, some chemical benefits. So I hope no one feels too badly about that, but I think that was a, I think it was a well-learned kill. So we got some jailbreakers. I'm going to open this chest, and I'm also going to go over here and open this uh, safe. Because that would be a good use of a jailbreaker. Bam! Oh, I love this bat. Alright, I'm going to start cracking both these safes, and let's see what we get. Okay, just got some shotgun parts, robotics parts, and some silver nuggets from the safe. Oh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I have loot goggles on. Okay, I thought I, thought I did in for a second. Uh, iron breaker mod and iron knuckles. Sweet. Uh, yeah, I got both of the breaker mods on my uh, pickaxe right now, so won't need that right away. Lots of bullets. That was a good cache of bullets right there. Uh, some machine gun parts. Why not? Uh, what else? Workbench with some steel parts. Okay. Can I make steel tools? Um, steel... Where am I going? Axe. You know, I cannot make steel tools. Again, I'm kind of forgetting where I left off on the uh, PvP series. It has been a while. All right, I'm going to crack this and loot the rest of the stuff. All right, some more bullets and a hunting rifle. Okay, we're starting to get to the point we need to uh, make decisions. Um, anything in the toolbox? Repair kits. I could always use repair kits. Uh, nails. Scrap that. Okay, let's see what we got in this crate over here. Mm -hmm. Open store box with bullets. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, I already got that one. There's a lot of stuff in this place, like a lot. So this was kind of maybe a smart hit for today. Um, semi -auto. I do like the semi mod. Uh, I don't have room for it on that because I don't. I like precision shots versus you know painting, painting someone with bullets. Uh, that's a lot of parts. Um, rocket launcher. I don't know. I'm just gonna read the book. Whatever. Um, anything else? Am I missing? Anything else? I think we are good. All right, I'm going to head over to the bike and empty out and maybe do one last quick scan before I go. All right, got everything emptied out, but there's a little cache of stuff in here if I remember correctly. And, ooh, a big mama. That's the uh, other thing I can like to play with. Well, I used to. I'm kind of on the stripper now. All right, shotgun Messiah crate. Uh, Looting goggles back on. And what do we get? Uh, pistol, bullets, and some repair kits. I probably should also grab some of this stuff over here. Because waste not, want not. Why not? Alright, I believe that's all. Uh, hopefully the trader is less occupied at the moment. Because I'd prefer not to get into another kerfuffle with the wife. Uh, two reasons. One, I only had the one uh, fort bite. I think. Let me go check. Actually, I think I had... Um, I was missing something. I took three. I took... Oh, it was the steroid I had. Uh, sculpture. I had a skull crusher and I had a fort bite. Okay, so I guess I do have everything I had last time minus the um, the uh, steroid, which made me run faster. Because with my armor, that kind of makes me a little heavy. Uh, I'm going to drop that. Get some stuff in here. There. I think that's fine. Okay, we'll keep those stuff, that stuff over here there handy in case I come across the wife again. But let's uh, let's get back to the trader. And see if we can get that quest turned in finally. Okay, no wives so far, but that can change at a moment's notice. I'm curious, did she take her little uh, peace offering? She did. Okay, so she scoped. So we're going we're to get moving. Close that behind me. It's a little nervous now. Now that I had some action with the wife, and not the fun kind. She's probably up for blood. Hello, well, that didn't take Ooh, it's long. got this quest turned in. Mo 20 Molotovs, I'll take that. I already have that schematic, so I guess we'll take the mod for selling purposes. So I think we just finished that next tier. Excellent. Which means we have new tiers of quests. Wait, these are all tier ones. Aw, oh, they don't reset until the next day. Hmm. I'm not going to bother doing a quest then, but let's check our sta or stash or stock, whatever. Uh, and I will sell this cash out of there. Anything that I need from you... Damage the wolves. I mean, eh. Cripple them. Oh, that actually might be... Does that work on PvP, I wonder? Hmm. I'm going to grab it. Maybe kind of a wasteful buy, but I'm just going to grab that. I don't think... I already have a nice cigar, don't business. I? 
I do. Okay, so I don't need that. Since yeah, I don't know if there's anything else I need here. Chili dog. All right, let's not waste any more time in the danger zone. Especially considering I would lose all this if she caught me right now. Unawares. What's in there? Yeah. All right, let's get on home, unload, and decide on our next move. All right, so we've done a bunch of looting. We're here at the bookshelves. Um, so far, I've gotten quite a bit of stuff. I did find Machine Gunner. Call our old painless for reason be the badass on the battlefield craft M60 machine guns. I mean, I'm not really going to need that. I do have a bunch more books I want to sell. If I do run out of space too uncontrollably, though, I'm just going to read them. Um, there is a bunch of books over here, and I, I don't necessarily have all the inventory space. Ooh, ooh, are these better than what I have? Where? Mmm, do you see? All right, cool. So yeah, I'm going to wear those goggles with my lucky looter point, which is going to be super handy. But yeah, I am running out of space, so I'm going to head on over to my dump chest here in a second. I only have this room and kind of this room here to loot, and then we're on the next section. But before I do, let's check the books quick to see if we have... We can almost read the ones that we haven't read yet, um, and then come back and get the other ones later. Because I do want to sell them. Oh my god, Jen would be so jealous of all these books. Oh, I feel dirty just picking them up. Alright, I'm just going to park out back. And she could be hiding in that same spot. A little nervous. Wife could be anywhere you know, with scope with that hunter mod. And apparently that hunter mod is really powerful. Like, I don't think it says what... Oh yeah, 100% the damage of living beings. So it's double damage. So if she fired at me with an AK, that's 110 damage each shot at, well, I guess whatever's not mitigated by armor. So only if, you know, a handful of bullets and I'm done. Down for the count. So uh, maybe in the next playthrough might have to uh, outlaw that mod because that's a, a little overpowered. It kind of makes uh, fights a little too uh, too short to be any, any fun. All right, I'm going to do some emptying out and uh, make a decision on what we're going to do today. All right, I think I made a decision. I'm going to move. I need to find a place that isn't as exposed as, I, as where I am right now. I need something with a wall. Because um, I, I step out my front door and there's any number of places that she can uh, snipe me from. So, I mean, just out our front door. Yeah, she could be in my horde base. She could be on top of that roof. And boom, I'm done. I could step out my back door. Uh, she could be in that window right there. I, just, I could just not see her. Bam, I'm done. I'm really exposed. So I need something either underground or with a wall. So preferably a wall or inside of a, I don't know. Yeah, preferably a wall. So I got to think of where that is. So maybe what I'll do is to look around and scope kind of the nearby area. Like I'm on a motorcycle. So, oh, my map's kind of unlocking as I move it around because uh, it's old map data. Um, I'll scope around on my motorcycle, try to find a nice spot, maybe in the outskirts. Make it further away from her, so it makes it really inconvenient for her. Like, maybe over here. So, I'm going to look around. I'm going to scope up for a new location, try not to get too close to the wife, and uh, somewhere where I can roam around without worrying about things too much. Okay, stash away my cash, and head on and do some scoping. You know, I think this would do nicely. It's ugly, but it'll work. If I can put a claim block down in here and uh, bar off or wall off this, put a door in there, and put my claim block down, there's nothing that she could do about it. Um, okay, I think I have a project now. Let's uh, keep my motorcycle just kind of inside here. I think I'll do some sort of a drawbridge. I haven't done a drawbridge in a long time. Yeah, okay, I'm kind of excited about this. Maybe I'll even kind of wall off from here. I don't know. But I think what I need to do first is get this place cracked open and get all the zombies cleared out. Alright, so I just finished unloading the last bit of loot. There was a few safes to crack in this section, so it took a little bit longer. And I almost, ooh, I almost forgot this. But yeah, it took a little tiny, tiny bit longer. I'm gonna, oh, I already have bandages. Gosh, I'm smart. I'm gonna go in. We're gonna head up the next section. So we are now, whoa! Whoa! Okay, so this, yeah, this is the next section. So this is your main foyer, obviously. This is your reception desk. This is a crawly, gross zombie. Uh, I'm going to do what I normally do. I'm going to clear the area really quick, and then I'll show you guys around. Oh, 
All right. Okay. So we've cleared the area. There is a lot to this section. Uh, I'm going to like it. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm going to run back to the beginning so I can show you guys everything. I don't want you to miss out. Come on, Daffy. You got this. I kind of keep turning my light on and off because as you can see, we've lit this place so that you can kind of go through it without a lamp if you wanted the extra spook factor. But uh, otherwise, yeah, of course, use your lamp. So here's our foyer. In the foyer, you have two supply closets. Now these have quite a bit of juicy, juicy, juicy loot. Like look at all these bins, wrenchable stuff. There is just never ending loot in this POI. I tell you that there's so much, it's worth every second. But yeah, I'm gonna quickly clear these out and then I'll show you the other, the other rooms. You know, on second thought, I'm gonna change my mind. There's way too many places I can get sniped from a high point. There's uh, too many lines of sight on me, so I don't think that's going to work. So, let's continue on. Now, what is this? A school? What is this? Hold on. Um, ooh, it's a school. I know there's some books in there. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's pause for a moment and go check out the library. Because books. Gotta get me books. Oh, what is this cool again here? What kind of books are you reading? Oh, done and done. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, this is a really sad library. One bookcase? Really? Oh, no. Okay, bar brawling. Okay, whatever. Not my thing. But is that it? That's really sad. Um, nope. That's it. Okay, all right, moving on. Uh, at the very least, I'll maybe just go grab the loot out of this place wasn't done running through it and hopefully I have enough time left to do a cruise around the town or maybe in the outskirts of town yeah I don't I think being in the town's the problem oh all right you go down there yeah I need to go on the outskirts of town in order to avoid some daffy sniping ooh level 30 okay uh what do we want to do with that point um Mother load might be nice. Sexy Rex, I guess I was talking about that. Yeah, you know what? Sexy Rex. It's kind of important. Oh, I believe this is the next spot for me to drop down. Cool. Whoa! Huh. Nope, too fast for you, fella. Oh yeah, that stamina is holding up a lot better now. Uh, that was probably a worthwhile expenditure, so not feeling too bad about that. But after that, we need to work on Lucky Looter and all that fun stuff. Excuse me, lady. Lady. There we go. Ooh, wonder if there's any energy drinks. Nice. All right, so in these two rooms, you have uh, quite a few hidden stash boxes. Like, there was a ton. Um, maybe too much. There's the notion that we could go back through it and obviously clear out some of those things. You're gonna wanna go up these stairs. Because you have yet another hidden stash. Ooh. Oh, this excites me. I am very much looking forward to blowing Jen up with a rocket launcher. I'm just going to confess that right now. That I cannot wait to blow that man up when he least expects it with a rocket launcher. It's going to be so juicy. So pay special close attention because there are some little hidden cracks in the walls that sometimes you might not notice. I mean, that's like every POI, really. Now you come down this hall. You get more bookshelves. This is almost as good as a library. Diamond tools. Like, Jen is going to be so jealous that I got this POI and he did not. It is juicy. And here we have a staff room where the staff can hang out and eat some food, microwave their dinner. Speaking of dinner, I'm really hungry. Uh, I've been trying to eat anything that I find. Food is slowly becoming a problem for me. I'm going to have to figure out... Oh god, I'm full. Oh no. I am going to have to figure out a solution to my eating problem. Uh, hold on. We still have this next room, which is another library. We're going to go there in a second. I'm running outside and unloading my stash. Alright, so I've unloaded everything. We're going to ease into the next juicy library that Jen can be super jealous about. I almost forgot just how many books are actually in this POI. Ooh! Cigar! Well, aren't I glad that I did not buy that at Trader Jen's with the money I didn't have. Yeah, there are quite a few bookcases and books in this POI. It's, uh, it's pretty juicy. Jen, uh, Jen would definitely love it. He loves books. Uh, almost to the point where he might have a book problem, I would say. Like, he might need to see somebody about his dire love for 
Um, knowledge. He's a knowledge addict. Oh my gosh, look at all these things I haven't read yet. Ooh, a spear hunter book. Hold on. All right, so where's that spear hunter book? Use the simple exercise to improve your spear throw. Increase projectile speed. Nice. And of course, we have a bunch of schematics. I'm going to read them all. And like I said, I like to sell my schematics to the trader because you do get like $176 for them rather than just getting a little bit of like, I'll read one to see the experience. 50 XP or 176 bucks. I mean, I'd rather get the money uh, this time. I mean, if I have like, you know, a ton of money, then I'll start just reading it for the sake of reading it. And again, if my inventory is super full, I would obviously, oh my God, more. I would obviously read them to get them out of the way. Cigars boost your strength. I already have one. <laughs> now this is the fun part. Ready? You come into the cathedral, obviously. So this is where there's there should always be a cathedral. You look up and oh my god. This is just graphic. That was definitely Jen's idea. Now here is the fun thing. This is a lab. So of course, ooh, another book. Jeepers. You're going to loot everything. And then you're going to take a second and find the secret loot. There is a juicy, juicy secret stash right next to this room of amazing loot. And it is, if you guys can see these lovely um, wooden boards. I think they're wooden, I guess they're not. Bang these down real quick, just like this. And inside you have da -na -na, a ton more juicy loot. So it's like a hidden little room or someone was obviously waiting out the zombie insane asylum patients and loaded up on some juicy stuff. So yeah, you're going to want to loot that. It is secret. There's also a safe over there. I'm going to go ahead, finish looting this up, and then we're going to move on to the next section. All right, this place has been absolutely awful for books, but um, loot's been okay. Now I'm going to have to do something about this situation. Oh, that's an irradiated. That ain't fun. All right, let's get this over with. Oh, it's a spider monkey dude. Okay, what do we got? Oh, hold on. Let's get behind Poundy over here. You're down. Oh, 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 God. That's guy I don't want hitting me. Down you go. Down you stay. We good now? Oh, yeah, we're fine. Not a problem. Four. <laughs> All right. We are clear. So, uh, awful lot of good stuff here. I'm going to take a jailbreaker, because that's that's a big boy safe right here. I'm going to crack all of this open and see if this whole thing was worth it. Okay, everything's all cracked open. Lucky looter goggles are on. What do we get? Uh, crappy rifle. That's worth more scrap. That's a decent AK. Uh, it might... I'll see. Where to go? Right there? Is it... Actually, it's, you know, it's not as good. Okay, that's actually kind of a relief. Okay, ammo, much stuff. Bookstore box, come on. Ar armor plating, I guess. How about stuff I already have? Yeah, fantastic. Uh, scrap sledgehammer. And bullets. Well, you know, bullets aren't an entirely a bad thing, but, you know, whatevs. Okay, we're done. We're out of here. I'm just going to break through this wall, or one of these walls. Because uh, that would be faster than going through all that all over again. Okay, everything's loaded into the bike, ready to go. Alright, we still have enough time to do some driving around scoping out. And let's kind of maybe go further northwest to see if there's something on the outskirts that will work without any, you know, high places that can get scoped out. Alright, I'm super encumbered. Uh, there isn't much left to this level, so I don't want to run out to my, uh, my storage chest right now. Look at all those bad boys. So I'm just gonna finish off this one section of the POI and then we will unload. I'm gonna go over here. Now there is quite a bit of mini bobinis coming up, so we're just gonna have to bang them hard, if you know what I mean. A little hard banging. All right, done like dinner. We have ominous stairs to the basement, but we finished this last bit of the section. I'm gonna loot as we talk about it. 
This is kind of just a simple area. God, these munition boxes suck. They just take forever. Uh, scrap. All right, so this is like more books, first of all. It's kind of the observing section. So if you were in an asylum and... Um, why did I not make these out of wood? What is wrong with me? <sighs> Hold on a second. And it was for nothing. That's great. But yeah, so if you go to asylum, sometimes you'll see images of kind of people just sitting in chairs and then they're being observed. So that is basically what this room is. It is a large observatory where patients can kind of hang out in their, these chairs, read some books, and then through there you will see the doctors observing the patient's interactions. So all in all, pretty simple section. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of space. I really need to go unload. Um, yeah, and there's some loot down here as well. Which I'm gonna bang out. I don't. I think these are just like the, they're kind of like the random chests. You lay them down and anything can really spawn. So yeah, anything can spawn. We have a trash compactor, two toilets, and a what looks like an air conditioner, which is fine. Um, but like I think those can even kind of spawn a hidden stash sometimes, if, like if you're lucky. But I don't know for sure. You can't quote me on that. You'll have to ask Jen. He is way more in tune with the way things spawn in. Oh my gosh, I am running out of time. Like, it is scary how little time I have left right now. Whew, we might not be able to do the basement section of this POI. Let me just loot it, and then we'll see what kind of time we have. All right, so it's pretty late. We have now done two-thirds of this POI. There is still a basement section to go. So there is still quite a bit left. I'm going to have to come back tomorrow and check it out a little bit. I do want to show you guys the rest of the POI. Every time I do leave and come back, though, it gives Jen another opportunity to um, know where I am, which is never really a good thing. But yeah, we found a ton of books in this POI, a ton of loot. It is and this is, there's still more to come. Like there's an entire lower level of this whole building and we haven't even reached the end loot yet. So if you guys don't mind adding POIs to your game, you're going to want the asylum. It is like super juicy, super pretty designed it myself. I'm, it's like my favorite POI. I'm, I'm, I'm a little full of myself, but it's got all the right atmosphere. Anyway, I'm going to start lugging some of my stuff home and I'll let you guys see what Jen's doing while I do that. All right, I pretty much scoped the town and kind of unimpressed with my options. I did see another prison I might consider, and that, that was a bit further out, actually right over here. The only problem was the line of sight from the hospital, but I might be able to negate that, I don't know. But what I'm going to do is return home and just do some more prep work at home, work on some more mining and, you know, crafting and all that stuff. But And uh, also do some quests tomorrow and continue to keep an eye out for another... Another good spot that I could turn into a base. I mean, other than that, I might actually just have to fly to build one, which would be a ton of work. I mean, it wouldn't be a horrible thing, but it would take a lot, a lot of work because I'll need some high walls, and that's a lot of material. I was hoping to find a starter base. Oh well, uh, I guess this is it for today. <laughs> a little bit of excitement, especially in the beginning, but I uh, hope Daph's end was as interesting as mine. All right, uh, thanks for watching, and Daph will do our closeout, I'm sure. All right, I just unloaded my first bit of supplies. I do have to make another trip back, but that's pretty much all I'm gonna do tonight. We are going to get the rest of my loot, and then I'm probably gonna mine some, get some iron. I know I need to start thinking about what I'm gonna do with our love funnel over there, our penile base, but other than adding some turrets, which I really want to add on the um, round sections or the like the testicle looking area um, that's pretty much all I know additionally what I want to make and I don't even think I can make a turret yet turret what do I need shotgun oh I can't make shotgun turrets I need shotgun parts so I'm gonna have to check the trader I don't even know if I have any shotgun parts it's got to be one of those things I'll investigate tomorrow morning as of tonight I am going to get the rest of my loot and then we are going to mine for the remainder of the night and eat something I do want to thank you guys all for checking out the video, and if you like what you saw, give it a big fat like, subscribe to the channel, and hang out. I know these videos come out sporadically, but they're a ton of fun, so hang out and don't miss the next one. I will see you guys next time.